Three minutes to the gentleman from Washington, the chairman of the Congressional Western Caucus, uh, Mr. Newhouse. The gentleman from Washington is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the gentleman from Arkansas for letting me be part of this conversation today. Madam Speaker, as you understand, I rise in support of SJ Resolution 24, which uh, is an effort to disapprove the endangered listing of the northern long-eared bat by the Fish and Wildlife Service. As you just heard, I'm chairman of the Western Caucus, and I can tell you that I know firsthand how radical environmental groups will weaponize, unfortunately, weaponize the Endangered Species Act in an attempt to end development of resources in our country and prevent responsible forest management. Now, this is just beyond the pale that these groups will do that, impacting communities around the, our country. The northern long-eared bat, it exists in 37 states in the United States, ranging from eastern Montana all the way to South Carolina and up to the state of Maine. Last year, at the urging of some of these groups, Fish and Wildlife uplist, uplisted the bat from threatened to endangered. But as you've heard, the, the decline is not due to any human activity. It's rather an incurable fungal disease known as white nose syndrome. Even the Fish and Wildlife Service themselves in the uplisting stated that the white nose syndrome is the main threat to the bat, meaning that the endangered status will do little, if anything, to recover the population. Instead, what I will bet will happen, you can rest assured will happen, forest management will be further restricted. Infrastructure projects, the chairman mentioned solar farms, wind farms, all kinds of infrastructure projects on both public as well as private lands will be hampered, slowed, or even stopped with additional unnecessary and burdensome regulations. This administration continues to ignore our nation's farmers, ranchers, and landowners in favor of these radical groups. So this resolution, I think, is critical to preventing government overreach, and I will continue to push for common sense reform to the Endangered Species Act alongside my colleagues on our ESA working group. And with that, Madam Speaker, I urge all of my colleagues to support this CRA and I yield back the balance of my time. Gentlemen, reserves.